Hello and welcome back to another video today covering the Trafalgar Group and a Trafalgar polling map. Um, as of right now, let's just fill in the safe states. Um, Trafalgar is notorious for getting 2016 right on the head basically with the electoral map. So, I mean, this is going to be one of the best sources in terms of recording who is going to, or predicting rather, who is going to win the election exactly. So, let's go ahead and put in all the safe states again. Let's not be too worried about all the particulars because, again, this is just a Trafalgar poll. People say that it's slanted towards Republicans. I just think they're idiots, whoever says that. Um, again, let's fill this in. No, I'm not LTE. Montana is safe, not likely. Um, so Alaska is definitely a safe place, as well as we are going to look at the states that are going to go for Donald Trump very nicely. And so far, let's put in Nebraska with the second as a toss-up. And let's keep going, okay? So as of right now, we're leaving Trump at 125. The rest is, the rest of the states could be within 10. Um, as you can see, the most recent Trafalgar poll has uh, Sleepy Joe Biden actually beating Donald Trump by 1.3%. So first, let's fill in the, the states that are more obvious that aren't covered in the polls, which is a likely victory in Texas. We put a likely victory in Colorado, a likely victory in New Mexico because of Gary Johnson. And there's no polling in Nevada, so we'll just leave it lean, Democrat, to play it safe. We're going to leave Ohio. Hold on, hold on. Iowa will go likely red. Don't at me. Um, Georgia's going to go lean red, let's say. And for the rest of these states, Trafalgar does not cover New Hampshire. And I'm just going to leave it as a Trump loss just for the sake of the argument okay so let's tilt it biden we're also going to give the at uh, at large to donald trump narrowly and let's give uh the smaller district to sleepy joe and the rest to donald and as you can see right now this is currently what is up for grabs according to trafalgar okay we have minnesota wisconsin michigan Ohio, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, Florida, and Arizona, okay? So it really goes down to these eight states, battleground states. Um, as you can see, Wisconsin right now is polling at 1.3% in favor of Sleepy Joe Biden, which is really unfortunate for the United States of America because this really puts a dent into Donald Trump's odds. Now, as you can see right now, um, there is about 2.8% of the poll that has undecideds. This could break heavily for Trump, in which case he would win. Um, Joe Jorgensen is doing over 2%, which is unlikely. So that's going to break more so towards Trump. Um, and so the demographics look about right. So women are over men by 4.4%. That sounds within reason, maybe a percent in the column for Trump if you adjust the numbers there. But overall, we do unfortunately see Wisconsin tilting for Joe Biden. So another instrumental state in him winning the Rust Belt is Wisconsin. Michigan, the most recent poll in October, has Donald Trump winning 46.5 to Sleepy Joe's 45.9, which is a 0.6% advantage to Donald Trump. So that's pretty good. And when you go on to the state here, we are looking at a tilt victory for Donald Trump. Seems completely reasonable. A lot of credible people believe Michigan will go to Trump, more or less, including radical politics, real American. Okay, so we're looking at credible sources. Again, Trafalgar, the best polar. There is top five. Undeb no debate around this, okay? Um as of right now, in October, we also have Donald Trump leading Joe Biden in the state of Florida, 48.4 to Joe Biden's 46.1. What does this mean? It means that Trump's winning this tilt. Um, he's winning it by over two, apparently. So while it could be lean, let's just say it closes in terms of the gap a little bit and Florida goes tilt Trump. I'm very confident of this happening, so it's completely reasonable. Another one would be Pennsylvania in October, which is another important one because we have um, Donald Trump losing to Joe Biden 47.4 to Donald's 45.1 so a 2.3 lead in Pennsylvania for Joe Biden now what is important to look at these polls is that I would give the benefit of the 
of the doubt to Donald Trump, of course. And it is October 19th, so we are closing in on the election here. But at the same time, you know, we have to give reasonable doubt. The margin of error is 2.97 percent, which means Donald Trump is within the margin of error. Also, the polls were wrong last time. Now, Joe Jorgensen is at over 3 percent in terms of polling. I doubt that it'll be this much. It'll be more like 1 percent, which in case would then break a net over, I'd say, about a percent for Trump. So that would close the gap by half almost. So again, let's look ahead to this. Women are supposed to outvote men by 7.6%. I doubt this, which will give a slight advantage to Donald again. So if this were the pure unadulterated poll, I feel like Donald Trump would be within half of a percent, maybe 1%. But as of right now, it is tilting towards Biden. So as you can see, it's 250 against 233 advantage of Biden. We are getting really close to the election here. Let's, for the sake of the argument, give Donald Trump the Nebraska 2nd District because he probably will. We have a Bernie bro representing the district or in the race, so that's going to give the advantage to the Republicans this year. Um, overlooking the Arizona October Senate poll because we all know McSally has a good chance of winning. Um, the Arizona presidential poll right now, which is a great poll, by the way, shows uh, a white pill. Donald Trump leading 47.8% against Joe Biden's 43.4%. 8% and Joe Jorgensen with 2.2%. As you remember, um, Gary Johnson won 4% of the vote. So for Joe to get half is pretty reasonable and is going to help Trump. And he has a 4% lead exactly against Sleepy Joe. And this is, in, this is in part because of the increase in the Latino vote for Donald Trump as well as um, the suburbs not trending too far away from him, as well as the Yavapai and other counties that are important. You know, the Indians don't hate Donald Trump as much as they did last time. So we're going to see Arizona stay around the same at a lean red. So that's a nice feature. Of course, Arizona is the best state in the union, so it's important that we win such a great state such as Arizona. We have pivotal figures like John McCain, who may or may not be burning in hell in the dry heat. Also, Ohio, which is another given for Donald Trump, has him up at 47.6% and Joe Biden at 439 meaning that Joe Biden's behind by 3.7%. So Donald Trump's going to win this by a lean margin or likely margin by the standards of 530. I mean, sorry, Trafalgar. I'm sorry that I've blasphemed Trafalgar <laughs> within the same sentence with 538. So as you can see, it's a very close election right now. It's between Minnesota and North Carolina. We'll see who wins so far. Um, as of right now, we go further down and we'll be able to see more polls, more polls like North Carolina, their presidential poll right now. The presidential poll has Donald Trump winning 47.8% to Joe Biden's 46.1, which means Trump is winning by 1.6% right now. And even in the fake news RCP aggregate, Donald Trump is almost tied meaning that he's probably going to win this by a tilt margin, if not lean, in my opinion, lean. But Trafalgar has its ways. It works in mysterious ways. How will Minnesota go? Minnesota was within 2% last time, so it's completely within reason that it would have flipped this time. The only problem being that the inclination is that it wouldn't for whatever reason. As you can see, the presidential election has Joe Biden beating Donald Trump 46.9% to Donald Trump 46.5 with Joe at 3.7%, which means that Joe Biden would be winning the state by 0.4. But because Joe Jorgensen is overrepresented by probably 2%, um, Donald Trump would win the state by a tilt margin according to the August 20th poll in terms of Trafalgar. So um, the poll may have Biden winning by 0.4, but again, because it is oversampling uh, sleepy Joe Jorgensen's, uh, sorry, but yeah, Joe Jorgensen's uh, voters there, I would assume that Donald Trump would win the state of Minnesota. So as of right now, it would seem that Joe Biden is winning 250 electoral votes with Donald Trump actually winning the election with 288 electoral votes. This time in exchange in 2016, he does lose the state of Wisconsin and Pennsylvania in exchange for Minnesota added on. So yes, it is a smaller victory, but at the same time, it's pretty impressive that he would flip Minnesota, which is completely reasonable. Okay, so this is not my actual prediction, but this was this is pretty likely a prediction. Uh, uh, this is a pretty likely outcome, um, which is Donald Trump barely winning the electoral college, losing the popular vote, but again, retaining enough uh, Rust Belt momentum to survive into a second term. So anyways, guys, take the Trafalgar pill. Thank you for watching. And this has been the updated October 19th Trafalgar poll map.
Anyways, guys, thank you and subscribe.